Good morning, my friends. It's Thursday, June 17th, and I'm here with you at the Rising of the Sun, Kate. I have one last night at my friend Oween Courtney's house where I have her beautiful mother's cross to help me pray. And then a view that is like no other in the morning light. It's like heaven itself here. We continue this morning in the first book of Samuel. Eli, the priest in the temple who's raising Samuel, is having a difficult time with his own sons. His sons are misbehaving. They're eating the meat of the sacrifice. They're sleeping with women. They're drinking too much. And God says, that their behavior is going to affect not only their father and themselves, but also their descendants. In a sort of a brutal passage, God says, you are no longer going to live long lives in your family. Your longevity is cut off. What a concept. The truth is that the behavior of our loved ones, particularly family, does affect us profoundly and our behavior affects our families too. My grandmother wrote a book about her life and she entitled it Braided Lives and at first I didn't like the title. I thought, what do you mean braided lives? We're not that intertwined. But as I've gotten older, I've realized that, oh yeah, I guess we are. We really are. Now, that doesn't mean that we can change our loved ones or get codependent or try to fix them. But the reality is that our behavior affects them and their behavior affects us. Families are so intertwined. Loved ones are so intertwined. And salvation often happens in groups. And so Eli suffers because his children misbehave as any parent would suffer when their children misbehave and his descendants are no longer priests whereas samuel who has been faithful and whose mother has been faithful steps into the role in their place it's amazing how interconnected we are and so the best thing we can do is to become healthy individuals, believing that our health and wellness and love will affect not only us, but our loved ones. And they'll be inclined to follow. Not because we tried to fix them, but because maybe they saw something in us that they wanted to emulate. Let us pray. Oh, Father, we are so interconnected with those we love. And we ask on this morning that you would bless all of our families, our loved ones, our friends. Help us to be well so that we may bless them and call them into wellness. Help us to understand the difference between loving them and trying to fix them. Blanket this world, Lord, with your love and kindness. Watch over all those who are sick or suffering, dying or in need, hungry, struggling financially. Bless those who are still struggling with COVID all over the world. Grant us wisdom on this day and guide us to help become the people that you call us to be and in so doing, to call others to join us. This we ask in the name of Jesus, your Son. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.